So the next thing we want to do is actually log in into our email. The email choice is actually yours, but um, in this course, we'll be using Gmail. Okay, so we'll be using Gmail to actually send an email. You can use Outlook, you can use uh, other mail service provider. Just make sure that when you want to send the email, you follow the procedures. As for this lesson, we're going to be using Gmail to actually send out. Now, to send out a Gmail, I would recommend actually even before or after this course, you read um, how to send email from realpython.com. You're going to see several protocols and uh, several ports. So you can either use the TSL or SSL. TSLs stand for Transport Layers Security and the SSL stand for secure closed socket. So mostly, if you want to actually check almost every email, Gmail makes sure that they are transferred to, they are converted or sent over the TSL. So if you want to know how to, how your email actually comes in, you can check it from your email more buttons and you'll be able to see which um, transfer protocol your email came with. So um, in this course, we're going to be using TLS, which is the transport layer security. Now, so to do that, the first thing we want to do is declare a server, a domain server. So every platform or every email provider actually have their domain, like they have their server, they have the domain that you can actually reference. As for Gmail, it is smtp.gmail.com you can look up on google to see other uh, service providers as well so uh, the first thing i want to do is to actually reference google domain okay i'm going to store it in a variable which is going to be um, in a string it's going to be smtp.gmail.com okay all right, so now that we've referenced that, then we need to actually declare our port. So our port is going to be 587, which is the port for TLS. Then the next is we need to actually get our password. Now, um, you know, when you want to log in your email, you actually need to insert the password. So uh, because this program is actually going to be uploaded on, it's going to be pushed to GitHub. So actually, the password is not added. So I am going to just use an input to take in the password. So to do that, we can just say, we can just call it input, um, want the user password. Just call it W, then have our input. We can just say your email password, email password, password. Okay, so what we've done here is we want the user to always type in their password. All right, um, the next thing is we want to try a login. So um, let's just write a comment so that whenever we come back here, we know what we are trying to do. We want to try to log in to, to the server and send an email, send our email. Okay, we want to try, so we want to manage our error exception, so we want to try to log in. Okay, so we just declare a variable and store our email object in it, which is going to be SM, smtp lib dot period smtp then we have a domain which is this so it takes in two parameters the domain and also the ports so we're just going to call our domain then our ports okay so but there's an issue right here we need to import the smtp lab so i'm just going to copy this and bring it up here and just say import smtp yep so the error should be off. So the next thing is we want to 
hello. So the moment you actually declare open your server, you want to open it and just say hello for the server to be ready to actually initiate an email. So we can just say server, then that's hello. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to actually declare a secure connection. So we just need to reference the server, then start CLS. Okay, so this is actually to declare a secure connection. Next thing we want to do is to actually log in our email. So we just need to say server, then we want to log in. So I'm just going to be using skills at instinctob.com. Okay, um, it's showing this because it needs to be coming form of a string. So the next is the password. Remember, we don't. I don't want to put. I don't want you to see my password. So I'm just going to reference the impute password. Okay, so whenever we run the program, I'm just going to impute the password manually. Okay, so the next thing we will want to do right now is to actually send our email. Okay, so now that we, we have everything set up, the next is to send, if everything works fine, um, so let's just check if everything works fine. We can just say, uh, print. If everything works fine, let's just print. Okay. So let's check it out. If we run it, let's just run it and see. Okay, unexpected person, line 41. Something is wrong somewhere. Okay, so um, for us to actually use try, we need to add our we need to add our accept. Okay, so just to accept exception. Okay, so we are trying to actually check our to print out error if something goes wrong. So to do that, we just want, so basically what we are doing here, right here, is just to print an error. Okay, so we can just uh, print error. Okay, so we're just gonna print the E. So if anything goes wrong, we're just gonna print the error. So I'm just gonna save and try to run, okay? So it's requesting for the password. I'm just gonna enter the password. If everything works fine, then we are good. Okay, so you can see that we have okay printed, so which means we are good. Now, uh, you might get an authentication error saying that Google is not letting you sign in. Just make sure that you uh, toggle the less secure feature on the email. So Gmail has a security feature that doesn't allow a platform like this to log in into their domain, but you can actually disable it and the link will be provided in the description of this video. So just disable the less uh, secure function or feature of your Gmail and you would be able to send an email. Even though I think that probably that might take like almost 24 hours to reflect, but um, once you disable it, I think um, once you disable it, then you should be able to carry out those activities. And if you can't, you can still like Google and ask how to disable less secure on your Gmail and you should be able to see several help on that.